That's why you need the Adderall, bro. I know, chill. All right, here we go. What's up, what's up, YouTube? Aaron Parker here, how's y'all doing? I'm gonna be reviewing today the Mono EFX 365 bag. Bag that I carry with me every day of the week. So check it out. There's a couple things that uh, me as an artist or, or a musician uh, look for in a bag that I'm gonna be carrying all the time with my gear. Um, it's gotta have a lot of space because I don't feel like carrying two, three, four bags, especially on planes, uh, buses, vans, wherever we're going. It's gotta carry enough gear so I can carry one bag. Two, durability. This thing gets thrown around every single day uh, with a laptop, with uh, my machine, and some of my other, my universal audio stuff in it. So it's gotta be able to not only um, be able to withstand that type of abuse, but protect the stuff inside. And three, finally, is comfort. I'm gonna be wearing this thing all the time, so um, it, it's gotta be comfortable. Mono designed this 365 bag uh, just for that. The DJs and guys that are carrying the machines, um, if you're carrying the contact, anything uh, that you're gonna be doing on a daily basis, this bag can take it. So, number one, talking about space. I have carried everything from just my laptop in here to uh, my Native Instruments machine, um, the machine micro, the Ableton uh, push, fits in here, uh, cables. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, unboxing, shall we say, or unpacking of kind of my daily rig that I took around just to show you how much space is actually in this bag. Um, it's gonna blow your mind. So let's go ahead and do the deal. Right here I got some Sharpies, not too much. On this end, I've got my hard drives. I mean, you can literally, I mean, way down here are my hard drives. I got two. You could probably carry eight hard drives if you need to in this one one little spot so tons of room as you can see this thing has like four very large pockets one for your laptop one for keyboards and other gear one for cables or whatever else you can actually fit your machine right there if you want to um, or any other uh, MIDI programming device this uh, fourth pocket comes right out of the front it comes out of the bag and lands in the front right here is where you keep your quarter inches and you have this nice velcro closure to keep them all in one space this front zip keep notebook uh, you can keep an ipad it has like a little furry um, ipad screen protector i guess it's, i kind of face my ipad towards the little furry thing so it's nice and cushiony um, a lot of room here so the space in this thing is second to none second is durability when Mono designed this, they really designed it to be able to go on the road with you 365 days a year. DJs are getting in and out of planes all the time. Me, it's it's a it's a bus or a van, and this thing has taken it. I've owned this since Christmas 2015, so a year now, and it nearly looks brand new, except for a couple little scuffs on my Mono emblem, but. No rips, no tears, nothing spraying all around the bag. It, it's, it's worn in, but I'm gonna tell you, it is seamless still. So the durability is just unbelievable. They make great, great stuff. And the third thing that I wanna talk about is comfort. One thing I hate about most bags is that they're just freaking uncomfortable. They got great space, but then they're hell to carry through an airport because you've got all your other bags, your clothing, and then you've got this thing that's laying on your back and it's heavy. Mono has designed, check these out, these giant thick pads. I mean, these things are like three quarters of an inch thick on the back, giving spinal relief right here. It lands perfectly on your back and sits up high to give you the most leverage so you're not bending back, it's not sagging on your back. It actually sits up high where you have the best leverage. Fits perfectly in an overhead bin, slides right in. The slim profile that it actually has, we're talking about eight inches maybe, maybe. If, you, if you're fully packed, maybe nine. Um, 
but a slim profile, perfect slit in any overhead bag, even on some small planes. So that is my review of the Mono 365 bag. I give it a full two thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe right up here on this part right here. And uh, watch out for more videos. And click the like button below.